Identity. Equality. Diversity. Fairness. Individuality. Initially I had about four images and I was trying to figure out which one I was going to use and I was trying to go with a picture like this and I was going to, you know, use Michael Collins as kind of the basic, you know, centerpiece of my um, puzzle piece and I knew that I wanted to have a tree in the middle and I wanted to have some sort of a sky, like a, a sky that was very kind of, you know, active and very cloudy and all that sort of thing and um, so I was kind of trying to think like how am I going to merge these two ideas together so I took a few samples um, here I had about four and um, from it really what I took was I wanted these kind of swirly skies and um, they're the same as basically what Vincent van Gogh used to draw or paint and um, I knew that I wanted to incorporate some of Paul Henry's skies, which is this, because I like his kind of style of drawing or painting um, clouds, and it's my own style too, that's usually how I would paint skies mixed with this. So I came up with the sky anyway, I said I was going to do something to do with this and this, maybe try and merge it, or you know, I was trying to figure out like how will I merge these two together. And then I was looking at Vincent van Gogh's painting, Starry Night, and I saw this sort of tree trunk or something. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Um, I said I'd put that at this side here, and the tree would be in the middle, and then I had the skies. So then I was going to put Vincent van Gogh's sky and Paul Henry's sky kind of merged to make the background. And that was the base, really, of the project. And then I put in these little sort of... Um, symbols so that's a gun and a flag and a hat and there's some medals there as well and I thought you know that would go well with the project to show like that the tree is the branches of history and that you know the medals and the flag and the gun and all that are from what's left over from the actual history that happened in Ireland or any country really you could put it to. Um, so that was kind of the, the rationale behind it and um, that was the finished piece then, um, with all the different colours and there's a mixture throughout the piece, like there's blues and purples and greens and browns and there's all different types of colours really, like they're all mixed in. So then I was trying to think, you know, where would this go in relation to the full actual like exhibition and I was trying to like think and where would it fit nice and I saw that it was kind of very busy and a lot of these pieces are busy as well. So I was thinking, you know, I have to put this in a place where it's not going to look too, you know, full on. So I, I thought that putting it here would look quite nice. And now that I've looked at the actual exhibition downstairs, upstairs and downstairs, I've actually noticed that it does go quite well in this environment and with all the other pieces incorporating with it. So I think it looks fairly good the way it is. And most of the other pieces too, I think they look very, very good on the wall. And I think it's, it's a really good exhibition altogether.
It was lovely to be back to my old school today to see the finished art installation. I was so honoured to be asked to be the collaborative artist in this creative engagement project. As a past student of this school who pursued design as a career, it was a great opportunity for me to share some of my experience as a graphic designer and work with the students on creating an online catalogue to showcase their work. I got the opportunity to speak with the students about my experience in art college, some exciting projects I've worked on, as well as graphic design as a career and the opportunities it can bring. With the creative engagement exhibition having to be virtual this year, we've come up with a way of showcasing their work virtually. With my background in graphic design, I was able to create a 40 page catalogue which showcases each student's work along with their rationale and how they achieved the finished piece. I worked closely with Ms Talty on photographing the pieces as she has a background in fine art and was able to help me with capturing the pieces in the best light. I worked closely with the students also on choosing different layouts and deciding on a theme for the overall catalogue. I think it was such a great idea to create such a large art piece um, and have it displayed in the atrium in the school. I think it really brightens up the area and can be seen and enjoyed every day by the whole school community. My piece was influenced by my musical background as showing individuality and I myself am a performing and practicing artist in the school. I used glitter to enhance the skyscrapers to show my love for architecture. I am working on my portfolio at the moment as to, sh to show design as a possible career option as well. Overall I thoroughly enjoyed the project from start to finish. Now more than ever we rely on online resources to display, to advertise, to present and to showcase our work. So I was delighted that I could help the students create an online catalogue to show their final pieces and that can later be printed and will be a keepsake for them to have forever.